Anyway, I just started this video, as I call it Video, and I'm going to show you a clock I bought. It was originally a timepiece. Someone's put a bonger movement in. Of course, you can't fit the bonger because there's no soundboard and there's no place for the hammer. As I call it, the Haymore. Uh, this is a Royal Dalton clock made in the 1900s, or I call it the 1900s. And as you can see, um, it's quite a sizeable clock. It's about 17 by 14 inches, just to prove how big it is. It's fairly sizeable. I'm just going to come into the fuzzog and open the glass so you can see the, the claws or the hands. And um, it's a bit dark in here, I'm afraid. There's the, the picture on it. And it's signed. L-E-A-B on here. Now what L-E-A-B means I don't know. And the vases, or the vases, or the vases, whatever you want to call them. I bought those from a charity shop, or as I call it, a charity shop. I paid, I think it was £12 the pair, and they're Victorian. I didn't know what they were like. I just bought them on spec and took them home. And if they were cracked, because I didn't have my other glasses with me. I would have just took them back and lost the £12, but they were, apart from a few, a little tiny crack on each lid, which you can't even see, uh, they are Royal, it just says Royal Victoria on them, um, so they were made in Czechoslovakia, and uh, this clock, I, it was so funny, I went to Wells up near where I live in Somerset, and I said, I'm not spending any money. What I'm going to do is just go and have a look in all the shops, charity shops. And I went along to this antique emporium. They sell lots of war medals and little people's stores and old cameras. And I saw this on the side. I was about to leave. And I saw this clock and I said, hang on, how much do you want for it? He said, 37.50, call it 35 for cash. I thought, okay. So I went to the bank to get the £35 and the guy was packing this into a bag for me. Um, I put a bit of oil into it, fossilised plankton because it had dried out. And it's been keeping fairly good time. I'm just going to come to here. Excuse the, you can't hear anything, but... It's ticking away. And that's the side profile of the case. It's actually quite thick. I reckon it's about four inches thick all the way around. And we're just going to come round to this side. I'm sorry it's a bit dark. Uh, and that's it there. It's a bit crazed. That was quite common with a lot of the old pottery. It looks it's got a bit of a crackle definish on it you could probably see now and that's due to just age really so originally it would have had a same type of movement as that but it would have had one keyhole and not two but unfortunately I would get a one keyhole movement I know roughly what movement went in there but it's trying to get one the right size and every time you take this out you risk breaking the case um, so that movement's running. I might get another couple of movements to keep spare. But um, that one will be staying in there because it's fine. I only got the wind the one side up because that hasn't got the spring. The bonger, I mean. But as you can see, it's got a good pair of hands. There's no washer on there. But the hands are tightly fitted. So I might put a, get a dome washer for it at some point. Anyway, this is an introduction to... Um, a Royal Dalton clock. The story of Royal Dalton as it was given royal assent by Edward VII in 1902 and they put Mark on there covered from 1902 to 1922. The other way to tell a clock's age is to look where it is made. If it says England it's pre-1910. If it says made in England it's after that. This one says England on it so it's pre-1910. Um, so that's this clock would be about 
Oh, it would be over a hundred years old, wouldn't that? One hundred and ten. It would be nearly one hundred and twenty years old. And uh, a real antique, as I call it. And I hope you enjoy the video.